Joining me on the platform is Tahira Hassan, author, women activist. Also joining me on the show is Mr. Sandeep Chachra, human rights activist. Major Muhammad Ali Shah, Impar Media Panelist, defense expert, is also here with us. Last but by no means the least, D. Shashi Kumar, General Secretary, uh, Camps Associated Management of Primary and Secondary School. Uh, he joins us all the way from Karnataka. Let me also get a quick, a quick response from Muhammad Ali Shah on this as well. Uh, Ali, Mr. Kumar is of the opinion that this is being politicized, but a BJP leader, Mr. C.T. Ravi, has tweeted, and I'll quote that tweet to you. He's gone on to say, today they will ask permission to attend school wearing hijab. Tomorrow they will demand the Sharia law. One school, one uniform. If you're not following the school rules, stop going to school. Schools are not your personal space, and you can wear whatever you want. It is not us, Mohammad Ali Chah, who are politicizing this. It's the politicians themselves who seem to be politicizing an issue which has been silent for, you know, the most part, post our independence. How the Sharia law will work? Ali? Vineet, I think uh, religion is something which I have always believed is something very, very personal between the Lord, the Maker and me. And that, that's about it. And everyone has the right to wear what they want, how they want, where they want. And secondly, this Bhandarkar's College of Arts and Science in uh, UDP, it's a college, not even a school. Only in school I had heard of uniforms. In college I had never heard of uniforms. Good point. Even if this college is an exception, yeah, it has uniforms. Very true. Very even if this college has a, has a, even if this college has a uniform, then okay, fine. Specify it. As I said, specify it and they will adhere to that uniform. Secondly, now, if the men came in uh, saffron scarves, I think it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. If uh, no, the by, fine. Is being perceived as they came to protest against the hijab, no, it's fine. I will be quite as fine. Because if the women can wear hijab, the men can wear hijab. Now, it should not be perceived as a protest. As long as it is not okay. being Ali, there seems to be a violence. Ali, with I agree with what Major Muhammad Ali Shah was saying. It's your relationship with religion, your personal relationship with the divine. Let me take a reaction from Muhammad Ali Shah as well. He hasn't had much to speak because of his connection. Ali, you know, this is a very sensitive issue. Today it's religion. Tomorrow it could also be health. Would some schools and colleges deny somebody on crutches to sit in a class or somebody with cerebral palsy to become a part of uh, an educational program or somebody perhaps on a wheelchair to attend school because, quote unquote, it does not, uh, you know, bring in, bring in consonance with the policy, the uniform policy of the school or college? This is a very sensitive issue. Absolutely, Vineet. And I think it is rather ridiculous on Mr. Shetty, the principal's part, to come up with such a silly ruling. You cannot deny education to anyone based on the caste, creed, religion, or, you know, the dress they wear. You just cannot. And here Mr. Shashi Kumar is saying, who is denying? Of course they are denying. That is the whole debate. That is the whole point. That is the whole purpose. And we are, I don't think Mr. Shashi Kumar wants to call. Denying is only yeah. because the of they are not telling back their respective college rules. Denying their right. Denying is only with that This call has blatantly been shameless. The rules of that college right. is okay. not honored. Okay. 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 okay, Mr. Kumar, Mr. Kumar, Mr. Kumar, Mr. Kumar, you've had the opportunity. Mr. Kumar, you've had the opportunity to express yourself. Please allow others to do the same. Mohammad Ali Shah. So this is called blatantly. You do something in open, broad daylight, and then you say, "Who's doing it? Who's doing it?" You go and you are in denial. I mean, it's like the most ridiculous thing. The least one can do is okay. accept it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We've run out of time for being a part of this wonderful conversation.